I'm John Skinner, and this supports my book, Striper Pursuit, and you can learn more about the book at striperpursuit.com. In this video, I'm using one ounce SNS John Skinner bucktails tipped with otter tail bait strips. And I'll narrate in a bit here, but for now, uh, yeah, some bunker have been pushed in by bluefish, and check out the color of this water as I get into the school. I've not seen blood in the water like this before, but they just slash through these. Uh, so I'll, I'll talk about this in a second. Ah, uh, that was something. You know what? Huh? Oh, I was standing right in it. I'd love to get some of this on the on the video. I I was maybe I can. Whew. A bunker is going to get caught on the line here, and amazingly, nothing hits it. But uh, yeah, this is the bait fish that these bluefish are going after. Those are big, big bluefish. Yeah. yeah. And this is Long Island Sound, late October. They, they were like way out there. And when I grabbed the rod, went in the water, boom. They were, that would have been something. <laughs> have the camera, but you probably got some, whoa, look at this bunker going by. Look at this. Yeah, look at that school out there. Yeah, holy smokes. Yeah, if I had those things trying to eat me, I'd be swimming too. Uh -huh, that was a rush. So this was supposed to be a false albacore trip. Um, I always carry another rod with me and uh, was rigged up with a bucktail. These blues had come rushing in on the bunker and I, I caught one and then put the camera on. I wasn't shooting uh, video before that. Uh, so now the bunker are just coming through and uh, the blues aren't quite there at this point. So I picked up the Albi rod again and made an Albi cast and, and there we go. So I've hooked up on a false albacore. 100% sure it is, to be honest with you. Yeah, Albie, yeah. What the? I, I don't know whether to cast for Albies or... Just cast for Albies. What the hell are those? What are they? Oh, blues and bunker. You know what? I'd rather fish for those at this point. Come on, fish, which way are you going? Wow. There he is. 
<laughs> Thing is, they're gonna just cut these bucktails right off. I was lucky to get that first one. I, I do, if you, and, and feel free to grab. No, no, feel free to grab plugs, bucks, just go in the bag, take what you want, I don't care. Well, at least I got my jig back. Wow, look at this bluefish. Come on, hit it, hit it. Oh, oh. Here we go, sight casting for blues. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Ah! Can still see him. Ah! There he is. <laughs> Oh. oh my god, look at that. Okay, on that one, the hook had got set into the bait strip, and uh, that's why I lost that fish. Uh, yeah, clearly poppers would be great right now, but uh, I really want to stay with the one single hook crushed barb on the bucktail, make it as easy as possible uh, on the fish and on me. Uh, that, that's probably going to end up costing me a, a bucktail or two. He's got friends, a lot of them. Look at this, he's got like six of them, eight of them with him. Oh, the one behind him is nicer. Okay, that rod is a seven and a half foot pen regiment rated 12 to 20 pound line. They don't make the regiment anymore. Uh, the battalion is very close. The reel is a pen SSV 4500. Uh, I've got 30 pound braid on there, about a three foot liter of 50 pound test. 
uh, trilene, big game green monofilament, tactical angler's clip at the end. The braid is joined to the mono uh, with a high quality barrel swivel, a Tsunami Centro uh, barrel swivel. All right, that one uh, cut off the bucktail, so I'll have to go up and uh, retie another one. So with the action, uh, it's slowing up just a little bit. Uh, I'm actually letting that bucktail sink after it hits the water because you've seen uh, probably that uh, you know, there's, there's bait fish, this bunker like laying on the bottom injured. You can bet those fish are out there cruising along the bottom, and uh, it makes perfect sense. Let that bucktail sink. Try to work it near the bottom. Working the lure near the bottom is always a great idea, but certainly in a situation like this where you can expect that that bottom is uh, littered with uh, injured bait fish, uh, that's a good place to work your lure. I've actually put a fluorocarbon leader on now, uh, and it doesn't matter. They're really chewing on things. So the leader broke there as I pulled the fish onto the beach, so I'll have to retie. Okay, so the woman to my left has an Albion in, a, in a about five seconds or so. Watch along the beach. This is pretty cool. This is hook, her hooked fish. Oh, oh. oh yes. Okay, going to do one more real big one here, and uh, thanks for watching. No, no, go, go to my bag, just rifle through it. See what you find. In the, in, in outside of the tubes, if you dig in, you'll find bags of bucktails. And there's a whole jar of pork rind I just opened.
Wow, holy crap. <laughs>